Yeah, so some features on the Pico dryer are the 10 and 15 horsepower motors that we offer on these, right? Okay. So we've got a cast iron frame on the electric motor. Uh, we've got the steel impeller with the hot dip gal galvanize on it. So. All right. Now that, this unit has what you call you guys Stargate. We, we call ours the Gator. So yep. functions kind of the same. It's an air gate. Correct. Yeah, it serves the same purpose as the is the gator, right? So we'll we'll close it, uh, and it will reduce the amp load on the motor, as well as it will not allow any air to come out of the nozzle, which is great for open pickup beds and things like that, where you don't want to have the air blowing on it. So we want to open this thing as hard as we can and close it as hard as we can, uh, right? You know, again, nice slow operation on everything, <laughs> right, Bob? So and we put some needle valves on here for you to do that. Dial right? it up. Show me. Show me what it looks like when we got too much air pressure going too on. Too much. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. All right, George. Yeah, that's a little. See, we're we're starting to slam there a little bit, right? We right. really don't want to do that, right? So what we want to do is dial these in, slow that down. You can see it already slowed it down the one direction, and I beat George to the next. So. so some of the ramifications of slamming it open and shut, there's going to be we're going to have premature wear on here. It's just additional wear and tear that you, is just unnecessary. Right. You know, like everything else in the wash, it's all unnecessary wear when it's doing that, right? Yep. We want to open and close. Mm -hmm. 